This is Bolus Maximus. I'm Brandon. And I'm Matt. Thanks for tuning in. This is my first time hosting a podcast. How about you? Uh, yo, yeah, for sure. Any idea how we're supposed to get people to listen and subscribe to this podcast? Just by, like, saying it? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You're tuned in to Bolus Maximus with Brandon and Matt. Don't forget to comment, share, and smash that like button to stay up to date. My name is Brandon A. Denson. Oh, my name is Matt Taro. What's up? And we're Bolus Maximus. Hey there. Thanks for tuning in. We uh, wanted to end the year here, 2020, a uh, pretty special year for us. Uh, not only did we start officially start forming an organization, but it really was a unique year for everybody. So uh, we just wanted to come on and say, hey, we're right there with you. We're getting ready for when, what's next year? 2021. Which feels weird because I feel like it was just Christmas 2019. And we just passed Christmas. And, and that was yesterday. It's December 26th. I hope you got what you wanted this year, and that was friends and family. And if you couldn't see them, I hope you were on a Zoom call or you got a phone call or you did something very nice with them, hopefully. Um, but again, it was the type of year where not everybody was able to get uh, together with their family and friends. So what what are we looking at for 2021? How, how do we go into the new year, Brandon? Talk to me. I think we, we have to go into the new year like we go into any other year. You know, most importantly is uh, being healthy, um, understanding that we have family, we have friends, we have community. And I think the biggest thing out of everything if that 2020 has taught us is that we can't take anything for granted. You know, so chase after whatever it is. I know a lot of people, they want to... They want to make New Year's resolutions. You know, I, I don't think that you have to wait to the new year to to create a goal or a resolution or anything like that. I think if it's something that you want to do, I think 2020 has just showed you you have to just jump out there and do it no matter what it is. Yeah, just get started. Just get started. Get, get started. Start doing what you feel like you need to do. Uh, that need likely isn't going to change regardless of if it's January 1st and you're sitting in a gym and you're listening to music and you're getting all pumped up and you just got new running shoes and you're on the treadmill and you're ready to go and you're like, I'm doing this all year. And then by the beginning of February, you don't even know where you put your shoes, you know? Thanks. So uh, you just got to get out there and start doing it. I ran four and a half miles yesterday, which uh, I don't mean to gloat, but that's a lot for me. So... I had to build up to that, right? I think we talked a little bit about exercise on our last podcast uh, between Brandon and myself. And right now, what we're trying to do is encourage people to start the year off right. Your year could start on G December 23rd because it means that by next December 23rd, you should accomplish what you want to. Just because January 1st is, is the actual calendar year, that doesn't mean that your year needs to start at that point. 2020. Was anybody's year 2020? Like, did anyone have a good year? I had a great year. Shout out to the people who had a good year. <laughs> had a great year. I had a pretty good year as well. I was working. Uh, we started a nonprofit. What else? Rollerblade and ran a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not going to let you forget this because I'm proud of you, big fella. Your sobriety, man. Like, oh, yeah. Let's not, let's Sober. Not, let's not forget That's 90 about days today. <laughs> yeah. And that was a personal choice. Uh, that wasn't anybody forced me to do that. That was a personal choice. I decided to take a step off that ledge. Uh, if you're thinking about starting the year off sober, please try it. Uh, it's definitely uh, something that I would encourage you to do. It's also something I can tell you works uh, for mental clarity, for motivation, for health and wellness. Uh, most importantly, though, for your own personal health. Um, you know, those around you can benefit from your sobriety, but uh, your personal health is going to improve greatly. I'm super, I'm super proud of you, man. I know it's something that you, you're probably like, man, this dude just always says it, but man, you know what, to see, to see where you've come from and where you're at now. And it's not that you were in a bad place. It was just that you wanted, you, you were telling yourself that you wanted to do these things for yourself and yeah. to see you be disciplined and like just stay on that path. I mean, it's dope. It tastes like it has vodka in it. It's dope. <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe it's maybe maybe it's the peppermint. <laughs> yeah. So 
Yeah, and I think I appreciate that, Brandon. That's a, it's, it's a big deal, right? So coming into the new year, I already had started, like I had already started that for myself. So I'm not worried about like, oh, January 1st, like I got to do it, I got to do it. And I stress myself out. Like I'm starting the new year off like that. I'll remember 2020 as being the year where I finally put myself in a position to succeed. Um, but likely what I see as success will come in 2021. Um, cause I, I see this as success, but it's like, the, yeah, it's the, it's the, I think sometimes even as human beings, we look at it like we don't see that shiny object right, right away. So we, we think we, we automatically look at it like, oh, it's not happening. It's not happening. But it's about where you were 30 days ago, where you were 60 days ago, where you were 90 days ago. It's in a different space, even though you don't see it immediately that those small daily disciplines that you have instilled, like they add up. And to all those individuals smoking the devil's lettuce in the park that I'm running in, hey there, I, I smell you. I see you out there. <laughs> I guess you can't say that it doesn't it doesn't smell good, but you've you've reached a level to where you understand like that you music, know, that music and motivation makes it, it better. It feels better to go and do those things for myself. Yeah, because it's not that you you need something else to kind of motivate you or to put you like on that on that path or on that track to get the things done. You know, I know that can be, I know that can be tough sometimes, but you just gotta tap into the inner you and do you. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Trust me. If I can stop. Uh, inhaling god's greens um you can do it too uh or you can stop drinking you can stop smoking cigarettes uh i think it's like progressing right i think not to make this about matt's life changes but it <laughs> sounded really bad so what ends up happening is you know you look at uh i had stopped doing one thing we'll just say one thing i stopped doing another thing and then I continuously started to put things down in my life that weren't benefiting me directly. Um, indirectly, they would benefit my mental state because it would prolong me having to address things that I needed to. So like there's no time to get better for yourself and for those around you than like right now. So if you're watching this and it's in January or February or March, April, May, June, whatever it is in 2021, 2022, doesn't matter what year it is. I hope it's five years later and you're like, well, look at these guys talking about 2021 like it's tomorrow. Get better. You can get better. So start th start that path today. And, uh, and sometimes the hardest thing is, is just jumping in and getting started. You know, I think I think that's I know I can I can speak for me personally. And I know a lot of people that I speak with sometimes it's like, well, I don't know what to do. I don't know how I don't. Well, let's let's back up. There's a lot of ways that you can. If you don't know what to do, talk to somebody that knows what to do, that's been through that. Or we got this thing called the Internet and YouTube and Wikipedia. <laughs> but Helpful. <laughs> helpful, or, but not always the best. You got to learn how to ask for help in the right places. Yeah. Like the people that are in your life that don't know certain things about what you do or what you like to do can't help you do the things that you want to do. Uh, you got to find somebody outside of your bubble, find somebody that doesn't do exactly what you thought and, and go ask them. Uh, so a shout out to my man, Brandon, who picked up a camera, uh, which we're shooting on today. What's up, Sony? We're not sponsored by them. Definitely not, but- Holler at us. Hey, get at us. Sony Alpha, baby. So when you when you put yourself in a position to succeed like that, I mean, I don't know who it was that originally turned you on to using a camera like that. Um, but, you know, oh, what was his name? Matt Tarot? No. <laughs> Matt, Matthew Tarot. And, uh, and, and, and I, got, I got bullied a little bit by uh, Joshua. Joshua on that one. Like, dude, when are you going to get a camera? Dude, Shout dude. out Josh, Josh yeah. Tufts. Um, Josh, you the man. So, you know, I, I remember when Brandon came to visit me two years ago when I was living in Los Angeles and we went on a hike and he had the drone, but, you know, Josh and I had the, uh, had the SLR cameras and we had been shooting for a while and Josh respectfully does, um, you know, photography for different events, 
uh, and uh, music events and sporting events and that sort of stuff. And um, another type one diabetic. And Brandon was like, I want to get into this. Next thing I know, he comes out here 2020 and he's rolling with this heavy equipment. It's light. It's actually a really light camera, but it's, 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 it's a nice camera. So in, in the grand scheme of things, he did his research, found out what he wanted to use. He learned from individuals by coming out here and like playing around with different options. And then he, and then he made a decision and now he's shooting and editing, you know, this video. So in, in reality, in the grand scheme of things, you got to progress, right? There are steps. Uh, if, if where you're trying to get to is here and I take five steps to get there and Brandon takes three, does it change where we're trying to get to? Nah, it's just a path that we're using to get there. So different people use different processes to get to the place that they want to be. See yourself in a place, envision it, tunnel vision, and go after it. Uh, get motivated. Uh, Brandon and I have started, you know, Brand, Brandon and I officially started a couple of years ago, but this year we started Bolus Maximus to support, educate, and motivate. Uh, and that motivate piece is huge. That can be as much from shooting somebody like a thumbs up, giving them a point like, hey, you can do it, or sitting down and having a 20, 30, 40, 50 minute conversation, two, three, four hours worth of conversation. So, you know, overall, use that motivation. I think it's the parrots, bro. They're back. The parrots are back, bro. Shout out to those early mornings listening to parrots at three, four in the morning. San Diego's got a lot to offer. So if you're looking for something to do and you don't know in your area like what it is that you can do for yourself, come visit us. Come on down to San Diego. You can sleep on my couch right behind this camera right here. Uh, you got to pay me for food and stuff, but I'll cook for you. Um, <laughs> so nice. So nice. <laughs> yeah. Three day maximum. And you got to walk my dog. And so like you, you can come out here and you can try different things or you can go find somebody in a different state or in a different city. Um, and, and learn a little bit more about yourself too. Cause if you don't know how to motivate yourself, have other people help motivate you. Um, but you got to surround yourself by good, like with good people, good like, people. like this guy. Appreciate you all day. But like Matt said, you know, the main thing is at the end of the day, everything that's happened in 2020, none of us could have prepared for that. None of us could have planned for it or we didn't know what to expect. And to be honest, hell, we still don't know. But that shouldn't stop you from trying to achieve anything that you want to do. Do anything with your family, do anything on a personal level or get out into the community and help understand a lot of people have been affected by 2020 good bad and different it doesn't matter um i think but as, as society we still have to help each other out no matter what because like matt said if we're if if the goal is to get here and you're here and somebody else is below you it's almost like you want to throw down the rope so you can help them get up to where you're at. And then somebody else can help you and throw down a rope so you can get to where they're at. Yes. And it just it just repeats itself and continues and continues and continues. So going into 2021, no matter what, just understand you have to manifest and believe in whatever it is that you want to do, and you can do it. In the process, understand the process is the most important thing. It won't happen overnight and long as you understand that you're investing into something for the long term that's going to have a bigger outcome that you can't necessarily see right now but in the long term it's going to be very beneficial not to just you but everybody around you and if you keep that in mind you're going to be good you got to put your own face mask on first right uh, if you've ever flown on an airplane before and you have a young child, uh, they're speaking directly to you when they say, make sure that you put your mask on first before you help your child. Um, that always seemed messed up. But at the same time, like if you're not taking care of yourself, how can you help somebody else? 
So, and like Brandon said, nothing happens overnight unless it's cookies or cupcakes, and you can send those to 4316 West Point. So, uh, so right now, do what it is that you need to do for yourself first, and then help those other people throw that rope down. Um, but you should be looking up because hopefully someone else is trying to throw the rope down to you and uh, and help you up up that ladder. Or up, it's not a ladder. I guess it's a rope. Could be a ladder. Could be whatever. Could be a rope. Could be stairs. Somebody could push a button. The stairs come out like the wall, like some futuristic type stuff. Yeah. So George whatever it is, Jetson. climb. Oh, God. I love the Jensen's. Did you like the Jetsons more or the Flintstones? Ooh. Oh, that's another that's another day. We'll talk right. about that. That's yeah, fine. We're gonna save that. I'm not gonna talk about that right now. However, what you should be doing is focusing on yourself first. Figure out what it is that you need to do. Get in the new year. Whatever tomorrow is, start your new year. Doesn't matter what tomorrow is. Whenever you're watching this, whatever tomorrow is, if you need to start doing something for a new year, you can start doing it tomorrow change the end date to be a year from tomorrow and and go for it uh it doesn't matter when in the year it happens just start gotta hit you with the debris the commercial you're not doing nothing you're sitting at home you're on the couch you're watching tv get up go do it chase your dreams chase whatever it is can you not yell at people oh hey guys do whatever <laughs> it is that you want to do just do it just get up and do it. Shout out Nike. You can sponsor us too. Um, if you need some support and education and motivation, you can find us on Sunday afternoons, uh, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time and 11 p.m. in the UK. Uh, those right now are the times. Uh, that's all the same time, realistically, all the way around the world. Um, those are the same times. But we do a Zoom call. And you can jump on and you can hear from other members of the community. Uh, we've got a couple coming up. What we're doing is sharing information. We're talking about different devices. We've got a meditation coming up. We're talking about fundraising for 2021. Um, so there's a lot of really great conversations on the horizon. Uh, please join us. If you need us, we're here. Uh, my name is Matt. And, uh, Brandon A. Denson. I got Matt Taro. That's my full name. But uh, Matthew. Ryan. Taro. I just gave up my full government on this thing. All right, listen, we got to get out of here. Uh, they're kind of come after us. So have a good rest of your day. Take care. Start the new year tomorrow. Doesn't matter what day tomorrow is. And uh, get after it. Peace. As always, keep it 100. Peace. If you don't know, now you know. Bullets Maximus is not sponsored by anybody. But if you would like to get involved or sponsor a podcast... Please reach out to us at thebolusmaximus at gmail.com. That is the T H E B O L U S M A X I M U S at Gmail or through our website, bolus, B O L U S M dot org. That is www.bolusm.org. We also have an Instagram, Facebook, and a YouTube channel. Please feel free to reach out.